Welcome to the Cape Floral Kingdom. Declared by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site, this region is home to an incredible diversity of plant species. With over 9,000 known species, of which 6,000 of them are endemic to the region, which means they occur nowhere else in the world. My name is Nas, I'm an environmental educator for the Cape Leopard Trust, and today we're going to look at the relationship between feinbos and fire. When European settlers first arrived in the Western Cape, what they were hoping to find was wood to build houses, forts and repair their ships. But what they actually found was this fine-leaved, thin-stemmed, shrubland type of vegetation, which they called feinbos. Feinbos provides habitat and a food source to many birds, insects, reptiles and mammal species. Many of these creatures play an important role in ecosystem functioning in the feinbos. A leopard, for example, needs the feinbos vegetation to provide it with cover so that it can stay relatively unseen. Feinbos plants also aid in soil stabilization and water filtering. Therefore, they play an important role in keeping aquatic ecosystems healthy. So what happens to feinbos when it burns? Due to the hot, dry summers, fires occur naturally in the feinbos, and therefore some species have adapted to recover after a fire. The varboom use a method called epicormic resprouting to recover after fire. Other plants use reseeding as a method to recover post-fire. Some seeds can even lie dormant under the soil for many years until a fire heats up the soil and smoke induce the seed to germinate. Even though fire is a driver for feinbos plants, it is important to know that fires can also be devastating to feinbos. Feinbos plants need time to reach maturity and produce seeds before they burn. Too frequent felt fires over large areas destroys the vegetation and therefore affects other parts of the ecosystem as well. So what happens to wildlife in a fire? In most cases, animals can escape a fire. However, animals that lack mobility, such as young cubs, fledglings, and some reptiles are particularly vulnerable to fires. Sadly, many wildlife species often die in a felt fire. Although fires can occur naturally in the feinbos, fires are often human-induced. Fires require large amounts of resources to get under control, not to mention the possible damages to property and ecosystems. Therefore, care must always be taken to reduce fire risks through good land management practices and environmental conscious behavior. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and go visit our website at capeleopard.org.za. See you all next time.